Good morning, Dunning Dolphins. It's Mr. Drowen, the assistant principal. Just a reminder, for the month of December, our PBIS theme is showing responsibility for your own learning, both remotely and here in person on site at Dunning School. I'd like to do a quick uh, shout out video for students in grades four and five and seven and eight. So here we go. Ms. Carpen would like to do a shout out. Hi, Mr. Drone. I'd like to shout out Abdul Aziz Al Baghdadi. Abdul Aziz has shown tremendous responsibility this week by connecting with me to complete missing assignments and is now completely caught up with all of his work in math. He also helps his younger siblings navigate technology and complete the work for their classes. He is a really great kid and we are super thankful to have him as part of our classroom community. Uh, we would also like to shout out Jordani Okendo. Jordani has started remote learning at the Boys and Girls Club this week, and he is doing an amazing job so far. He has been attending all of his classes, taking notes in math, and participating appropriately in the chat. Keep up the great work, Jordani. From Mr. Manj, uh, Mr. Manj wants to recognize and shout out Xavier Ramirez. Xavier is consistently and thoroughly completing uh, his asynchronous afternoon work every day. He has yet to miss an assignment this year in my class. Awesome to hear. Also, Mr. Mond wants to uh, recognize Dominique Jones has been really taking responsibility for his learning over the last week. He shows up to class on time with the camera on and ready to contribute. He has also been completing all of his asynchronous afternoon work. He has been, he has even gone back to complete some missing assignments. That's great to hear. For Mr. Rochers, Mr. Rochers is here on site teaching in person. Um, Mr. Rocher would love to uh, recognize and give a shout out to Alberto Negron Toro. He is extremely helpful to me and his fellow classmates. He helps his friends often. He gives clarification of my instructions. Overall, he is such a wonderful boy who is always willing to assist me and his fellow classmates. I'm proud of the improvement in his oral language skills. He definitely needs to be recognized. That's great to hear. Uh, for Ms. Langlois, Ms. Langlois wants to recognize two students. First, Omar Durek in grade five. He's getting a huge shout out from Ms. Langlois. He continues to pay attention and be focused. He is respectful by following directions and waiting with his hand up to participate. He tries his best on answering questions and makes on topic predictions and inferences. So proud of you. And then also to Chantel Santiago in eighth grade, a huge shout out for being on time, respectful, respectful and for participating in our morning advisory. Chantel starts every advisory by asking how I am doing and truly meaning it. Her good morning and how are you are sincere, makes me feel awesome and gives me a great start to the day. That's wonderful. From Mr. Levins, fifth grade. Mr. Levins would like to recognize the following students for demonstrating responsibility this week. From room 19, Dominic Malloy. Dominic has been dealing with a lot of internet issues at home and is still coming to class and doing what work he can uh, given his circumstances instead of just throwing in the towel. That's great to hear. Great job, Dominic. And from room 23, Zamiri Robles. Zamiri has really uh, upped her participation and engagement in class the last week and is turning all of her missing work in. It's so great to see her hard work paying off. Nice job, Zamiri. From Ms. McCarthy. Ms. McCarthy would like to give a shout out to Jack, Jack on PC, Perez Cologne. He has demonstrated being responsible by attending school every day, always signing into advisory a little early and participating in our group conversations. Great job, Jack. For Ms. Riley, for this week's shout out, I would like to give a huge thank you and awesome job to Corel Cabrera, grade seven for embodying all of our PBIS values. Carell is always ready to learn and ready to help out others. He is always responsible for his work, his participation, and his attitude. He is one of the most respectful students in the entire middle school. This past week, Carell went above and beyond on multiple occasions, helping his teachers with Zoom issues, being a peer tutor to his classmates, and being a kind, compassionate individual to people who needed a positive word. Carell is the type of student every teacher loves having in his or her class. I couldn't agree more. Carell Cabrera is a wonderful, wonderful young man. Uh, from Ms. Morales, Ms. Morales would like to recognize two students. From eighth grade, I would like to give a shout out to Xander Cruz for having excellent participation during class discussions. He is always willing to take ownership of his learning and ruminate on tough science 
question. Ruminate. That's a tier three word, dude. Also, from grade seven, I would like to shout out Eloy Figueroa for really stepping up to take more responsibility for his schoolwork uh, as of late. He has worked hard the last uh, few weeks to be more attentive and focused. That's great to hear. Great job, Eloy. For Mr. Peltier, Mr. Peltier says, for this week's PBIS recognition, I would like to give a big shout out to Evan Pedroza in grade eight and Yamalet Verdesia in grade seven for being two responsible young students. Both students complete all their work in a timely manner and make sure that they are never late or missing assignment. Keep up the good work. And finally, from Mr. Zyla. Mr. Zyla would like to recognize two eighth grade students. Genesis Obando and Angelica Hernandez. Both students consistently demonstrate responsibility by frequently checking in during the week using email and making up work when they are absent in a timely manner. Keep up the hard work. That's wonderful to hear. Thank you so much teachers for recognizing your students. Uh, we have about another seven or eight school days left in December and then we will be moving into uh, 2021. We know 2020 has been a challenging year in many, in many ways. Um, and you know what those ways are. So we're not even going to get into that. So let's keep a positive attitude. 2021 is around the corner. It's going to be a much better year. Hopefully we're, we will be back together in person soon. But until then, we just have to keep doing our job. As Coach Belichick says on the New England Patriots, do your job. And that goes for students and faculty members. Just stay positive, stay focused. Everything's going to be fine. 2021 is around the corner. And at Dunyu School, the glass is always half full. Always half full. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.